of people have failed, and especially it's hard for the, you know, for the starting time. I mean, if anybody asked me for advice for that, I would say don't do it. If we are really making cars, some PowerPoint, some scam. This dream back to 2014, that's a huge thing. You need the courage to do that. You need to be able to see long and far. He's a visionary, a futurist. A lot of the things that he was thinking back in, you know, 10 years ago, are becoming a reality now. I'm truly wants to tell the public is that we are really working hard to make this product real. Doesn't quit, he doesn't give up. I was never afraid. I was never, you know, I was never down. Those were hard times because we had a very small team. Didn't even know that I need a visa to work here. So Chao Ying used to, you know, take, take YT in, in the, in, in her uh, Prius, basically driving around to look for buildings, for, for our headquarters. Different people from all kinds of different departments. I was able to create so-called eco-chemistry. Get things done, sort of. Things just go so much faster and you can solve problems really well. It's, it's nice to have someone support everywhere. All my family and friends, they're all excited about it. They're really proud of me being part of this, such an in, innovative company and me being a part of something bigger that can really make influence and make an impact for our future. Those people were encouraged and were inspired by those vision and strategy. So then how, how things got started, because all the things make sense. When I first joined in 2016, things were pretty good. I've been fascinated by the company ever since I saw the FF01 concept uh, supercar back in 2016. Seems like funding stopped sudden. Nothing is easy. Nothing is simple. We were flying and then we had to take a bus instead of, you know, g g being on an airplane. You will know 10 years later what's going on. We need to worry about what happened next week. You know, January the 3rd, 2017 is the CES. Are we going to go or we don't go? We were like, we're just going to do it. What you can do is provide an environment where people feel empowered and they feel valued. The FF91 hit the public at the CES in 2017. So when I saw the car, I'm like, oh my God, this is something new. So it doesn't happen every day when such an innovative company enters the market. It's a totally different experience for you and it's the same car. More people became aware of who we were and what we wanted to be. Somebody sitting there just asking, can that travel to space? That's the kind of funniest story which I encountered when using the car. Uh, there was a lot of excitement again because we're going to produce out of Hanford. This is where our cars will be born. When you crash, you feel a little bit dizzy and you don't know what's going to happen. When people leave, especially people that have made extraordinary contributions. 1,300 employees here. A fair amount of people that had so many good. From one day to another, like, you know, everything stopped. Where the payroll was about to release, but you still haven't got your money in the bank account. A lot of people had to go different ways. We started to have minimum wage management team volunteer to do that. We were trying to kind of make sense of it. People started to pledge their house in order to get a loan, to write the check to the back to the company, to save, you know, every dollar matters. We had minimum pays. Leadership was asked on a voluntary basis to be paid the next pay circle instead of on time. Rock bottom means there's nothing left. Part of the O team going out and pulling people to set up uh, their own company. Out of that, we grew and regroup. We clear our mind and we come to a point I'm still very much engaged in, in this company instead of finally moving to Italy and spending a, a nice life there. Still holding the dream, he never gives up because he believed that is still going to happen. We're trying to keep it all together, not lose sight of where we want it to be, move resources around to grow from there. In 2020, we had 
the global pandemic. YT was going through his personal bankruptcy. We didn't have uh, funding secured yet, and on top of that, we had uh, COVID hit. We had to change how we interact, how we met, and how we conducted ourselves in normal business. Not giving up, staying with the company. There could be any um, good news, bad news out there. It was a, yeah, a period which was just endurance. You don't let those downs or those highs uh, deviate you from your original task. Hanging in and getting through. Twenty twenty one was definitely a year of hope. That hope and especially when we secure the funding again. Especially with the IPO and and YT at NASDAQ. We all were excited about the possibility of renaissance of, of FF. Seeing our dreams uh, for many years come alive. It was a it was a tremendous learning experience for me to co-lead that process with my, some of my colleagues here. And, um, yeah, it was more challenging and fulfilling. This is still, this is still a good path. We, we will move forward. We're going to basically restart the program and then to achieve what we claimed. We had this hope, like, we've seen the worst. Let's just move forward. The past is the past, and there's been a lot of struggles in the past, of course. I was fighting for a change. This year we want to, to change the image and we want to show the world. I didn't care if the change is fire me or fire YT or whatever else. We're working 670 hours per week. Yeah, we raised 235 million in the last three months. To basically rebuild the entire high voltage architecture and high voltage system. We're really excited for people to get behind the wheel, get behind the screens interface with the technology and share it with the world. Looking at the, the names or the, the words chosen for the, the years has something to do with my personality because I'm living in today. Rebirth is the best phrase ever because it really describes what, what is happening.